Hello everyone and welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I am Cassie and as always, thank you so much for being here. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am excited because I'm going to watch a fun comedy tonight from what I hear. I'm watching What About Bob? There's been a lot of requests for this one and I was just kind of in the mood for a fun, funny, especially because it's Bill Murray movie. I've loved the movies I've seen with him so far. Groundhog Day and Ghostbusters were so fun. So I think this is gonna be good. I only know that it's a comedy and that Bill Murray is in it. I have this vague recollection of hearing about it. I think it's about boats. I could be wrong. I often am. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's gonna be good and just a light movie. Don't forget, like, subscribe, bell, Patreon. Okay, let's get started. I have to give a special shout out to someone on YouTube who every single live premiere always pledges $5 and asks me to watch What About Bob? So here it is and you know who you are. I feel good, I feel great, I feel wonderful. <laughs> what? Good morning, Gil. I gotta go to work. See ya. <laughs> is this him going to work? Oh, I bet this hits harder for all the people who work from home now or did during 2020. Oh, does he have some like social anxiety or is that what this is? Good Morning America is coming up to Lake Winnipesaukee next week to interview me. <laughs> Lake Winnipesaukee, I've been there. I feel good. Sturdy, I feel great. I feel wonderful. I feel good. This is like so different from his characters I've seen before that are so confident and arrogant. <sighs> Dr. Marvin, Bob Wiley. Thank you for working me in. Hello. Is that your family? Let me guess, I'm very good at this. That's Harriet, and then Ronnie, Kenneth, and Bambi. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> Have a seat. This guy doesn't seem that warm and nice, like I feel like a therapist should be. The simplest way to put it, I have problems. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, I worry about diseases. As long as I'm in my apartment, I'm okay. But when I want to go out, I get weird. <laughs> Talk about weird. Dizzy spells. Aww. Nausea. Cold sweats. Hot sweats. <laughs> Fever blisters. Involuntary trembling. Fingernail sensitivity. <laughs> Fingernail sensitivity? So the real question is, what is it that you are truly afraid of? What if my heart stops beating? What if I'm looking for a bathroom, I can't find it, and my bladder explodes? Have you ever heard of Tourette's syndrome? It's exceptionally rare. Shut it, eat son of a bitch! <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> Why exactly are you doing this? If I fake it, then I don't have it. It's the same with the cardiac arrest. <laughs> oh! oh. Are you married? I'm divorced. There are two types of people in this world. Those who like Neil Diamond and those who don't. What you're saying is that even though you are an almost paralyzed, multiphobic personality, your wife did not leave you, you left her because she liked Neil Diamond. Ow. 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 Dr. Marvin, you can help me. Um, there is a groundbreaking new book. Ah. It's his book, isn't it? Baby steps? It means setting small, reasonable goals, one tiny step at a time. Don't think about everything you have to do in order to get out of the building. Just think of what you must do to get out of this room, and so forth. Baby steps? <laughs> baby steps out the door? He's doing literal baby steps. 
steps. All I have to do is take one little step at a time. <laughs> that should give you a lot to digest while I'm on vacation. Vacation? No, I'm taking my family on vacation until Labor Day. What if I need you? What if I need to talk? Bob, I'll be back. Baby steps out of the office. Very good. I'll see you in a month. Oh, Bob. Baby step onto the elevator. Baby steps into the elevator. I'm in the elevator. He did it. <laughs> Poor guy. Yes, this is Bob Wiley. I'm a patient of Dr. Marvin's. I'm sorry, Mr. Wiley, but Dr. Marvin's uh, out of It's Bob. Time. And you are? Betty. You could call him on the other line and tell him that I'm on hold on the other line, couldn't you please? Vicky, have you put that down in front of that other chair, okay? Okay, Mom. This is just the perfect little American family. Dr. Marvin, how's the weather up there? You all getting a chance to relax? <gasps> Bob, if this is really an emergency, go to the emergency room. Well, I'd just feel so much better if I knew where you were. <laughs> it's Martha's Vineyard, right? Bob. Fire Island, huh? Goodbye, Bob. What, you, you want to keep Maine all to yourself? Why is he trying to figure out where he lives? I mean, where he's vacationing. I'll get the phone. I'll get the phone. Doctor, it's Betty again. I have an urgent call from your sister. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Lily, what's wrong? Dr. Marvin, please don't be angry. This is Bob. Bob, the doctor-patient relationship is based on trust. I can't trust you anymore. Do not call me here again. That was not smart. That was not smart. Who is it? Detective Roberts from Homicide. I have some questions about a Bob Wiley. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, Bob committed suicide about 15 minutes ago. That's oh. terrible. What is he doing? Bob called here trying to reach his psychiatrist. Oh, well, where is he? I'll have to ask him some questions, too. Dr. Marvin's on vacation in New Hampshire. This is not okay. What if I wanted to write him a letter? Would oh you have God. a letter address of some kind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is going to be so mad. Hello? What? Thank you for calling, Betty. <laughs> that patient, he committed suicide. Oh, how horrible. Oh, well. Let's not let it spoil our vacation. Baby steps, get on a bus. <gasps> Baby steps get up. Oh, he's going to New Hampshire. He's got his cold fish around his neck. Baby steps on the other. I'm Bob. Would you knock me out, please? Just hit me in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Great. Another vacation that's not a vacation. All right. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> my kind of guy. Oh, I think I know what's coming. Easy, fella. We're almost there. Well, this is the cutest little town. Yeah! Poor Bob. He needs help. Doctor Marvin Leo Marvin. Is someone calling you? Doctor Leo Marvin. Oh my God. Get in the car. I would actually be freaked out. Is this a bad time? <sighs> Look what he's wearing. Wait, is that the guy from Jaws? I thought you were dead. Well, I fibbed a little bit, but don't be mad. Now, what I'd like you to do is to get on this bus and go back to New York. Can't we just have a little talk? Bob, you are testing my patience. I'm doing the work. I'm baby stepping. I'm not a slacker. Listen. Give me, give me, give me. I need, I oh, need, oh. I need. All right, all right. Go to the bus station, buy yourself a ticket home, and then wait for me in that coffee shop. I'll call you in two hours. Baby step to four Baby step to four o'clock. Did he buy his ticket? If I lose consciousness or black out, would you tell Dr. Marvin when he calls here? Dr. Early? Leo Marvin? Do you know him? He bought our dream house. He worked a lifetime. And he swooped down with his bag full of money. Son of a bitch. She never says that. He won't see me. That's why I'm waiting for the phone call. Just <laughs> show you where he lives. You will. I have stopped everything in order to teach you how to dive because it is as important for me to see you dive as it is for me to appear on Good Morning America. I don't like that he said that. What is it with you and this death fixation? Maybe I'm in mourning for my lost childhood. Now, bend at the knees, bend at the waist, hands out, stick as a board. One, two, three, spring! Come on, don't phone it in for your kid. The last person I interviewed on vacation was Dr. Ruth. Is she the airplane lady? So many connections in these films. 
Yes, I'd like the number to the Gutman's coffee. Dear heavens, he's gonna lose it. What are you doing here? Don't be mad, the Gutman's brought me. Burn in hell, Dr. Marvin! Hi, I'm Bob! Hi, I'm Bob. I'm Faye. Oh, Mrs. M, you are even prettier than your picture. <laughs> and younger. Thank you. Faye, Anna, would you please excuse us? Let's take a walk. Uh, Bob, could I take your fish? He's already eaten, don't let him tell you otherwise. Bob, I'd like you to take a long look around you. What does everything you see here have in common? I don't know the answer to that question. Vacation, Bob. Mm. Vacation. Read it. Take a vacation from my problems. Every single time a problem arises, follow it to the letter, doctor's orders. I'll see you in New York, in my office, in one month. One month vacation? That's a dream. Have a great vacation. You too, Bob. It can't be that easy. <gasps> His fish. Gil? Oh, the fish! Bye-bye, <sighs> Bob. Bye-bye. You've got to be Sigmund. Sigmund? As in Sigmund Freud? Did you get him on the lake? No, he's a city fish. But he's loving it up here. <laughs> Have a great vacation, family! Me too. <laughs> Bye, Bob. <laughs> I think I do look younger than that picture. Bob, 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 Bob. Or... <laughs> this. I need your opinion. Rifle or bust? Bust. I think both looks are wonderful, sweetie. I need feedback. Good morning, Dr. Marvin. I'm on vacation. This isn't an appointment. I'm dropping by. No way. I know he can't work, but let's get the friendship thing going. I feel like normally he would probably call the police for this type of behavior. Bob seems really harmless, but... Leave me alone. I'm all by myself. There's nobody here! <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi. Will you want a ride? So what's it like being the daughter of a brilliant analyst? Was it great? No, I have problems the same as you. You're afraid your bladder will explode? <laughs> Analyzing everything to death to see if what I'm feeling is normal. Yes, I have that, yeah. Do you want to come sailing with me? It just makes my lips numb to think about it. But if your friend is a good sailor and the craft is seaworthy, <laughs> yes, I will go sailing. And the craft is seaworthy. I'm sailing! I'm sailing! <laughs> That was actually so sweet of her to invite him. This is child abuse. Trust me. Put your hands out like I showed you. Dr. Marvin! I'm sailing! Whoa! <laughs> oh, Sinky! Dr. Marvin, guess what? Ahoy! I sail! I'm a sailor! Ahoy. I sail! I sail! It's so funny how her outfit is so back in style now. Where are we going? Home. What about the car? Leave it. Oh, Daddy, not here. Anna. 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 Why well, I'm asking you not to see Bob White. Daddy, I am just... I can't hear you. Where are you, Anna? Oh, no, no, no. This is incredibly weird. Bob listens to people. Your father listens to people. Except when he's up here in Lake Winnipesaukee. He is fun! Your father's... kind of fun. I mean, I get it. I get it. <laughs> They're just getting their revenge. Do you sail? No. Well, I just picked it up. Wonder what I'm gonna pick up next. Try diving. All right, diving. Oh, he's gonna help him. He just dropped me in the water. I nearly drowned. My whole life flashed before my eyes. Well, you're lucky you're only 12. It was still grim. I and mean, what is it with him and diving? Well, what's the big deal? Can you give me a handle on it? <laughs> careful. Oh, careful. Careful. Guys, I'm a very anxious person. I relate with the tiny bit of Bob. I'm scared of a lot of things. Lean forward. Just a second, don't rush it. This is my first dive. <laughs> okay. Lean, lean. Now hold my shirt. I'll show you what I'm supposed to do. Honey. I got you. <gasps> yes! 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 I'll take it from here. 
here. Did you see me dive, Dad? Thank you, excellent. Thank you, excellent. He's swimming. Am I going to die? I would like you all to accept my apology. Well, what about Bob? What about Bob? All right. I apologize to Bob. And now I'd like him to go. <laughs> Can we have Bob over for dinner? Yeah. Hey, I want to think about my interview. I think Leo actually needs a little therapy. <laughs> Every bite. <laughs> They like it. They think it's endearing. Hey, this is so and scrumptious. Just is this hand shucked? Leo mm -hmm. Would you like some more chicken, Bob? Is this hand shucked? Leo, do you want the breast? No, 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 no. That's fine. Eat up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Will you stop that, please? He's just a little nervous about his interview tomorrow. <coughs> Dad? I love you, breathe! Breathe! you I just never gave up on Oh my god. I just never gave up. Too much. This is so tender. I don't like being a party poop, but tomorrow is very important. Maybe it's time for Bob to sing his way home. Honey, he can't walk home in this. He's gonna let up soon. He can go home then. What if it starts up again? He can borrow my slicker. Bob walk home in this? <laughs> in his raincoat? Leo. Shh, I think it's letting up. Come on, sweetie. Bob, we'd love for you to spend the night. Are you sure I'm not imposing? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> okay. He's so cute. I can only imagine what's gonna happen tomorrow in the interview. What is the matter with all of you? Don't you understand? This man is crazy. Uh, for all we know, the guy could be a, a mass murderer. He's a sweet guy. He's scared of thunder. Are you afraid of death? Yeah. Me too. You're going to die. I'm going to die. Oh no. It's going to happen. This cannot be healthy for both of them. What else is there to be afraid of? Well, not diving anymore, but uh, Tourette's syndrome. What's Tourette's syndrome? <laughs> oh no. Get for brains! <laughs> I knew that was coming. Turkey dip! <laughs> Sorry. What is going on around here? Tourette's. Hmm. Tourette's, of course. Honey, it's just kids being kids. Well, tomorrow is the most important day of my career. We just got carried away. I want some peace and quiet. I just figured out what this is reminding me of. It reminded well, me I'll of Elf quiet. a little bit. I'll be peace. <laughs> <laughs> just like a very innocent and everything he does is just making his dad more and more angry. Night, Colin. Uh, Mrs. Ham, could you leave the door open just to create? Okie dokie. He's doing so well here. Even though he's out of his routine, he's doing so well. Six o'clock, Bob. Time to wake up. Come on, let's go. Bob, rise and shine. Bob! 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 Oh my gosh. Bob! He must have taken <laughs> the valley <laughs> or something. <laughs> Goodbye, rat dick suck nut. <laughs> Later, testicle head, bosom beaver. <laughs> Good morning, America's here. Go. This is our home, and I was thinking of something by the fire. Oh no, his things. 
Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> this is my uh, daughter, uh, Anna. Hi. And so uh, my son, uh, Siggy. Siggy. Hi, I'm Marie. I'm Bob. He's a patient. He lives down the road. Dr. Marvin, what a great idea. Howie, Dr. Marvin's going to have a patient on with him. Fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it's a fireplace shot. What? Right. May I speak to you outside for just one second? Oh, I think it's a fireplace shot, he says. Yes, I do I not understand. want you on the show with me. I think I'll I do, make up me. some excuse. Dr. Marvin, Bob. I can't. Dr. Marvin doesn't want me. <laughs> no? Ah, no. Get in there. They're waiting for us. Oh my gosh, is it live? We are going now to Lifestyle Reporter Marie Grady. Is it live? Good morning, Dr. Marvin. Bob. Good morning. Good morning. To come on national television live with a patient shows a remarkable amount of confidence in your methods. <laughs> oh no. Exactly how does Baby Steps work? I'm gonna die. I'm very proud of Baby Steps. I think the greatest challenge is finding ways to make the ideas within it accessible to laymen as well as to my colleagues. Um, Bob, tell us your impressions of Baby Steps. I couldn't be happier about Baby Steps. I don't even think Dr. Marvin knows what the heck's going on. He can't believe what's going on. I'm very excited. How long have you been a patient of Dr. Marvin's? Three or four days. Three or four days? <laughs> this book is not really meant to work that quickly. It only worked that quickly with, with Boob, Bob. You can call me Boo. <laughs> it's not just this book. It's this man. It's the compassion. He actually had me stay here last night in his jammies. Oh, my gosh. I spent the day swimming and sailing with his family. Come here. Oh, hey. Uh, Here's the fam. The... You have a very nice family. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming. Marie, you're wise. Uh, w what do I say to someone who is... Oh, my gosh. The book is Baby Steps. The author is Dr. Leo Marvin, and we've been talking with Bob Wiley. Oh, Pretty my Pretty impressive gosh. stuff, Bob. Back to you, Joan. Way to go, Bobby! I, I feel like I want to crawl in a hole. I can't take it. I can't take the embarrassment and how mad he's going to be. It's big really great. Yeah. Here's the one who made oh. it happen. He's going to have an aneurysm. Get out. Get out! You've ruined my life! You've ruined my career! You've turned a perfectly peaceful house into an insane asylum! Get out! It's gotten into you! It was a disaster, Faye! Why'd you need to kick Bob out of the house? You think he's gone? He's never gone! Is this some radical new therapy? <laughs> you see? Oh, Bob. I want to apologize to you for that terrible outburst. How would you feel about you and me having a little talk? Just me and you? What do you say? You feel like going for a little ride? Oh, do no. I? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look how happy he is. He's rocking the car. He's gonna kill him. He's gonna murder him. Dr. Marvin to see Dr. Tomsky. Hey, you're Bob Wiley, aren't you? Yeah. I saw you on TV. You were great. Bob Wiley, I'd like you to meet your new pal. New pal? What's wrong with my old pal? You're coming with, aren't you? Fellas, I have convulsions. Really appreciate you helping me out on this, Catherine. <laughs> He's losing it. Cigarette, Bob? Oh! Didn't realize you were in a straight jacket. <laughs> He's a maniac. You know why I think I thought it was about boats is that scene where he is sailing. I'm sailing! I feel like people have quoted that or something. Oh, his family's gonna be so mad at him, though. Catherine Tomsky's on the phone. Hello. What? No. Where's Bob? What about Bob? What about Bob? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm a schizophrenic, and so am I. <laughs> they all love him. So much for social anxiety. Bob's killing it. <laughs> you have been duped by a textbook narcissist. No, oh, I can't believe that I'm hearing this. Oh. Relax, Leo. Take a vacation. Come on, vacation! Oh, boy. <laughs> He's already up here. Anything Bob does is just going to make him spiral even more. <laughs> I'm scared. Excuse me, officer. Can 
you make sure he's home by seven? Hey, didn't I see that guy on TV? Oh boy. This is a series of unfortunate events. He's actually going to have an aneurysm. You stayed free and <laughs> I wrecked my car. Son of a bitch in love! I'm home! <laughs> gonna be bad we have a great big surprise for you your sister lily's here from chicago happy birthday leo we're all here for you dr m this is your night ah! i've never seen him like this phil he's been under a lot of stress faye <laughs> his birthday <laughs> she doesn't realize it's all because of Bob. Don't worry. No, no matter how long it takes, I'm going to stay on and help out the family. I'll just be the daddy. Oh, you are oh such boy. a good friend. I'll just be the daddy. <laughs> we just think it would be best if you're not here when he wakes up. You want me to go? I'm sorry. Bye, green puking piss ant. Later, barf breath douche mouth. Bye, Bob. Bye, Anna. Take care of yourself. You know, you will I'm never leave. the greatest vacation with y'all. Y'all, I am country now. <laughs> Leo. No, too messy. Oh my gosh. He actually does want to kill him. Yes! Baby steps, Bob. Oh, God. Dr. Leo Marvin! Dr. Marvin! Dr. Marvin! Hello, Bob. Oh, my gosh. He's not actually gonna kill him. What are we up to? Death therapy, Bob. It's a guaranteed cure. Wow! This is called black powder, Oh, my Bob. gosh. He really has cracked. You understand, don't you? There's no other solution. You won't go away. And I'm not gonna let you breeze into town and take my family away from me just because you're crazy enough to be fun. Um. You'll take care of Gil for me? I'll feed him till he's big and fat, and then I'll eat him, Bob! This is not okay. Well, he did try to commit suicide once before. Maybe we should have seen it coming. More fish, anyone? He actually wants to murder him? I'm all tied up inside, and these phony bombs mean that if I don't untie myself inside the emotional knots, I'm going to explode. Oh, it's so simple, yet so brilliant. Oh my gosh. Baby step, untie your knots. Free! <laughs> No, he still has the bombs around his neck. Oh my gosh. I'm scared of that man. Bob's gone. Oh, you know, sweetie. You do? I didn't hear it go off. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. Your death therapy cured me, you cheat. <laughs> the bags I put around your neck, Bob. Where are they? In the house. Oh my gosh. How does this end? How does this possibly end? Leo? Sweetie? Leo? The worst is over. Yeah, Dad. How much worse can it get? This isn't real. Is this real? <laughs> I do. Or is he having a nightmare? If anyone here knows any reason why these two should not be joined together in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. I pronounce you man and wife. No! Dad's back! Daddy! Leo! Oh, I'm married to you! <laughs> Bob went back to school and became a psychologist. Leo is suing him for the rights. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was amazing. And just what I wanted to watch tonight. Oh my gosh. Bob Wiley. 
Bill Murray played him so well. You love him and hate him and just like when things cannot get worse for Leo, he makes them worse, especially because everyone loves him. Oh my gosh, it was just too good. I feel like I want to go watch it again because I missed so many, there was just so many good quotable one-liners in there and it was so fun and entertaining and hilarious. I think they just both played their characters so well. And yes, if you think about it too deeply, like mental illness, stalking, <laughs> attempted murderer, but I think it's just supposed to be silly and fun and one of those things like how can it get worse and it does and of course the family is just in love with him which infuriates him even more but I thought it was really great. It's supposed to be almost unbelievable right? He's literally got bombs strapped to him and he's like emotional knots he's a genius <laughs> and like I just loved it. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. Like I said, I need to watch it again. There were so many good lines that I need to remember. Thank you so much for watching along with me and for these suggestions. And I hope you all have a wonderful night.